Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to mine Flux Profitable and some other coins, pretty much any coin you'd like to mine. So first what you want to do is head over to a mineable and select the coin you'd like to mine, which is Flux. And pretty much I'm paying $6 a day to get 31 Flux, which is not terrible at all, guys. I'm looking at about maybe $10 a day profit. It's pretty insane. And that is because the price of Caspa went up and a mineable is offering Caspa now and their K heavy hash algorithm. So first off, let's go over to the flight sheet. Okay, so you select a coin, it's flux, select the wallet, select the pool, uh, set up miner config. So the coin or algo, and this is for LOL miner. I'm gonna also show you how to do it on Team Red Miner shortly after this. So you do capital flux, and how you get this information is you come back over here and it's gonna tell you, hey, you know, if you're mining Ethereum Classic, it's probably going to be ETC and then, you know, the colon or whatever the heck that thing is. And then your address and your worker name. So, yeah. So then enter the whole address there. Make sure you do this. See how that says Tower 2 right here. I come over here and I see my Tower 2 is right here. So, yeah, it, it's pretty awesome. And make sure over here you're not doing, uh, what's that called? you guys are going to have issues that don't do that cancel that out and then put your port down below i mean you can do either one but it's just more cleaner this way too uh, don't forget to put in your extra config arguments and something i do recommend for you guys to do is to if you never mind casper before and you are setting new overclocks go over to a casper pool before you come over to a mineable that way you know you're getting accepted shares then when it's not working you can say hey I must have entered something wrong somewhere down the line and then you you know you can just fix it instantly so let's go ahead and check out oops yeah i got some workers offline i'm just not switching everything i gotta reboot some stuff so let's check out a amd rig for you guys so of course caspa overclocks i got some sorry i had some stuff in the way for you guys and of course the coin the wallet pull config the algorithm is caspa and then flux and just like i showed you over there and the password's x and yeah it's it's really simple uh also i do have one thing for you guys make sure you watch mr kiwi's mining video if you were going to be using like 6600s because you want to make sure you're using this version i have right here and you want to make sure the overclocks are correct it's not it's amd cars are really funny like that uh, you got to have everything pretty much perfect, and I'm sure you guys already know this, but yeah. So that's why I said, too, make sure you mine Caspa first and get some accepted shares. That way you can say what's up. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, and if you're curious what I'm going to mine, I'm just going to mine the Flux payout rate. And then I'm probably going to go over to Ethereum Classic. You know, that's always one of my favorite coins. And while I'm here, I'm going to show you guys what I would make. So basically, I make one Ethereum Classic a day. I'll take that any day because right now, you know, just to say, hey, I can mine one Ethereum Classic for $6 a day. That's that's crazy. And that's why I'm showing you guys this video. I'm just here to help you guys. And I truly believe that Unminable is probably going to hold Caspa. I don't know what they do with their stuff. I'm sure they got bills to pay, but I'm sure the majority of their coins are going to be held. I would hope so. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy the video and I'll see you guys later.